Well, it's quite shocking. The Nigerian government from foreign extraction has been the one buying the arms and ammunition that the Fulani Janjawis are using to cause mayhem in Nigeria. Buhari government has been the one purchasing the arms. And he has been the one telling the soldiers to aid them in whatever they want to do. This is why you can see that no matter how these people pray, the soldiers will continue to pretend that they left before they came. Soldiers have been the one aiding them. They have been the one give them information of who to kidnap in Nigeria. So that the ransom we paid. I believe you have not forgotten how Gumi was busy helping them to collect ransom. Sometimes I wonder is there really any good Fulani? But my answer is yes, there are many of them. But the rotten mangoes among them has caused a lot of problem. I know why they have continued to cause problem. Because your presidency has been the one heading them. Because your presidency has been the one purchasing ammunition and arms for them. In every other country, They don't behave the way they do here in Nigeria. Your military soldiers has been the one purchasing the arms and ammunition that the Flani men have been using to murder innocent people in Nigeria. And who is the, the chief commander? Of this army is Muhammad Buhari. You and I have seen the atrocities this people has committed. The kind of uh, equipment that they use, sophisticated weapons that they use, bought by a president and his military. Because they we are here for a mission, finalization. He has been exposed. And this is how many of them will be continued to be exposed. I have to say one thing here, make it clear from now upwards. If the United Nations refuse to do the right thing that they're supposed to do, as people that claim that they believe in human rights and the freedom of people, then nobody should guide them anymore. They don't deserve it because respect is reciprocal. People earn respect, not the other way around. You cannot leave your country, come to my country that we are managing to tell me that recruiting of Boko Haram into the military was the best thing that this man who is an Asorok did. This alone shows that you are part and parcel of our problems. Did you ever ask that man that recruited those Boko Haram? Where they truly repented? Where on earth did you see people that was called terrorists? Really terrorists repented. I'm not saying those that they were called terrorists, no. They were that are terrorists. They can easily accuse anybody as a terrorist. That is a different thing, a different ballgame. 
The ones that are really thorough is that the whole body know that they are thorough. Have you ever seen when them repented? But you openly congratulated a man who has caused problem in this country throughout his tenure and still willing to cost more. You uploaded him for recruiting Bukharam into the military. Time has come. The Biafrans should rise. The Nigerians who believe in freedom fighting should rise. Mazen and the Kalo has not committed any crime. That is why they have continued to keep him communicado. They have refused to judge him because there is no case to judge. He has no case here. Rather, they deceive themselves and deceive the public and Nigerians that he jumped back. Whereas everybody knows that he did not jump any back. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Now according to the news for today, it says, I quote, their mission is very clear now. Arise and defend yourself at the boy, charges Christians. According to him, he says, I have searched the Bible from cover to cover and there is nowhere in the Bible, where God said the child of God cannot defend himself, if you find the place, let me know. He is saying this to the Christians, his church members. He was saying it to them. He was part of the people that were supporting Buhari. But today, he has come to realize that this is real. What Mazen and the Kano said those years and continue to say is now coming to pass. It's real. Almighty God in heaven. We could not be with us all. We will not surrender. The Bia France will never surrender. Because freedom is life. And freedom is where we believe in. Gentlemen and ladies, I think I've come to the end of this news. Please drop your comment in the comment section. Share this and remember. Cheers.